This morning I want to look at Job, chapter 19, verse 25 to 27. Job was written very, very early on. Um, we don't really know how early, but very early. And it is, to me, incredible <coughs> that Job, who, as we know, suffered a great deal and in the end had a most amazing encounter with God towards the end of this book, as he, as he lays down his arguments and God speaks with him. Um, it's a very interesting book. I'm not here to talk about Job, but to say here is a man who was suffering very greatly in his physical body and he had suffered the loss of his children and much of his wealth in terrible disasters. But he stuck to his belief in God. And in the middle of all this anguish and turmoil and all the conversations with his um, comforters, which is a bit facetious really, they didn't really comfort him at all, but they're called Job's comforters. Um, he suddenly, I believe under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit that you and I are filled with today, he writes these amazing words. For I know that my Redeemer lives. For I know that my Redeemer lives. Can you say that? For I know that my Redeemer lives. And at the last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has thus been destroyed, then from my flesh I shall see God whom I shall see at my side, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. My heart faints within me. He suddenly caught up in this absolute knowledge that when it's all over, when all this suffering is done, when he's died and been buried, when his flesh, as the old version said, and though worms destroy this body, um, Yet in my flesh, <laughs> I will see God. And here is the foreshadowing of what Jesus ultimately came to give us. And that is eternal life, resurrection, and a body in which to live for eternity. Our flesh, just as the flesh of Jesus was resurrected, Jesus was given an eternal, incorruptible version of his own flesh. It was different. It was eternal. It could pass through doors and walls. It could travel all over the place. But it was a physical body. And, because, and he is described in the New Testament as the first fruits from the dead. And we are told in the New Testament that all those who believe in him will rise, will be given new bodies, however long they've lain in the grave, however long, whatever, however, when we will all decay. These bodies are not designed to live forever, but we will get the, the, the original design body that Adam and Eve had before corruption destroyed them. Here is Job. For I know that my Redeemer lives and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. This is a vision that Job had of the ultimate um, return of the Lord Jesus to come and stand on the earth in majesty and power, in victory. The victory is won and we await that day when he comes and stands on the earth. And Job knows that even though his flesh will decay, yet, he says, yet, with the, my eyes I will see him. And he ends it, my, my heart faints within me. I'm not surprised. He doesn't understand it. He doesn't understand how he can be so completely convinced that he will see God with his own eyes 
and yet have just said that the worms will have eaten his body and, and his eyes will have gone. And he's writing under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And he writes these profound words that are true for you and I today. If we should, if, if the day for our spirits to be called home comes before the day Jesus returns, we will be buried or cremated or whatever. But in our flesh, we will see him because when he comes back, the dead in Christ will rise first and be given those new bodies, just like those people who were raised when Jesus died. Those tombs were opened, it says it in Matthew's Gospel. The tombs were opened, and after Jesus rose from the dead, the people who'd been buried in those, in those tombs walked around Jerusalem in bodies that walked around because they were an evidence, a first fruits, they couldn't rise till Jesus rose. But when Jesus rose, they rose. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. We will live forever in his presence, in new bodies that will not decay, new bodies that will be eternal. And in our flesh, we will see God. Job nineteen twenty-five to 27. And if you want to meditate on this, you can't do better then listen to the um, aria from the Messiah. Uh, try and find Kathleen Ferrier's version of you. She was a wonderful contralto. But there are many who've sung it. I know that my Redeemer liveth. It's a meditation on, these, on this verse, um, taken, of course, from the authorised version. I know that my Redeemer liveth. John wrote his Gospel that you might know that Jesus is the Son of God, and that trusting in him you might have life in his name. It is possible to know for certain, without any doubt, to know. And if you don't know, ask God to reveal it to you as you meditate on the scriptures that teach that we can know. Know for certain. See you tomorrow. Bless you. Have a great day.